Do you know, I'm actually happy to show you the water plugin in principle because it is kind of cool. It just requires an engine restart. We're not going to use it, but I'll show you what it does because it is kind of cool. It's a, it's a beta plugin, so it's under edit plugins and you can search for water. And there's these two things here, water and the water experimentals. They warn you that this could be withdrawn at any time. It's totally unstable and mega beta and you don't really want to use it. And then you go, oh yeah, great. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. That sounds, sounds exciting. And then you have to restart because it has to recompile things. This is something we need to pay attention to. Add entry to default any. This has to do with the water collision feature. If I wanted to make something bob up and down on the water, I think I have to do and click this. Otherwise, I can't click the profile later. But you know, that's just that's just that. So third person map, I'll go and save it. I'm gonna go and create myself a new level, basic blank level, in which we also see the SM Sky Sphere. So I wanna go and remove that here. So the water plugin interacts with landscapes and kind of bends them. So I need a landscape object to begin with, and that is over here under landscape mode. It comes up with um, you can pick a size here. I'm gonna go and pick maybe the 31 quad size so that's kind of medium scale and uh, it needs to have layers enabled here but that happens by default and then you just click that and then you can start working on the landscape i'm not going to go sculpt i'm going to just go and come out of here and just give it a nice sandy little material and then if i go zoom out and i'll go and bring in i can either maybe go and uh, place my actors panel here on the left hand side then I, I can search for water and there's all kinds of things that I can drag in now and I think if we go and bring in an ocean that's probably going to be the best demo so left click and drag the ocean in and you'll see that it's got this uh, this outline here in the middle and then it takes a moment and eventually maybe I should have made a larger landscape here eventually there we go we've got something like this and that's now basically the Fortnite water surrounding my world. And it extends to literally everywhere. And it's got a nice water effect on it. And, you know, it's, it's cool water. It also has that post-process volume built in. So if I were to go diving, then it turns this on into something like a dark blue. So if I had geometry underneath here, then I could, you know, I could see that. It's quite nice. So I think my landscape was a little bit too small. Uh, if I go and make my island smaller, I think I can do that with these spline points here. So the magic is literally spline points for everything. So this could be a nice, this could be a nice beach here. And notice how the landscape material is being manipulated by the water. So it basically, it used to be flat and now the water's at that level and now it kind of goes down here with the splines. And that's, you know, that's kind of nice. So effect isn't bad, but it's also not exactly what I can use for my scene. So <laughs> I'm not going to use that. I might just go put this to zero so it's not quite as, as bright and we can see a little bit more detail. So the splines is really the name of the game. So I can now go and grab a lake and put that into the inside of my landscape, like say here. Uh, once again, it takes a moment. And the landscape is being manipulated by that. We can still see the floor here. So let me go and take that out. Floor we don't need. Floor Gonski. Yeah, and now there's a little lake in here. And if you look closely, this is exactly, it looks a bit like the, the cartoony type water effect that you get in Fortnite. It's very interesting. This might not be deep enough, but hey, you, you get the picture. And the funky thing is there is a thing called the water zone in here and that inside of which can water can be rendered. So outside of which that's kind of a trick, but inside of the water zone, uh, water can be rendered but it because it's all spline based you can go and connect it together so you also have something like a river that you can drag out and then if it connects from one water body to the other then it'll go and notice that and just combines the two that is kind of cool you can go and swoosh this up or down and you know create all kinds of crazy good effects here well, I'll go take the actors panel away and there's actually flow in here so this isn't a good transition so we can we can work on that but in principle the river now flows from the source out into the ocean and I didn't really have to do anything it just goes and you know it just goes and does that so yeah there's this ways to make this transition better and I've seen really good ways of it mixing that I of course have no real idea how to use it 
So that's my first idea to build my little scene around a lake like this, but it means there's a lot of overhead and things aren't very stable, so I'm not going to use that effect. I just wanted to show you this because it's kind of cool to play with and, you know, now I can go ahead and scale up or down my landscape and start building things with palm trees and put other river bits in there. So like, you know, another river, water body river. Let's see if we can put another one in here. Oh, there we go. Good stuff. And because it's all spline point based, I believe if you go, if you were to find them, you can go and extend them and add to them and oh, things like that. It's very, very neat. I just have no idea how to use it. So when I, if and when I learn it, I will totally let you know more. <laughs> it's a cool tool, isn't it? It's good to know about and it's currently in beta. So considering it's completely free, it's actually, it's not, it's not bad at all. And I'm imagining that they're going to improve it all the time. And of course, professional water plugins cost like $350. And if you can get this for free, not bad. This doesn't do wave effects very well. I think they're there, but it's kind of, you know, it's a bit of a tricky thing to do. But yeah, very cool.